Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to clear the check engine light on any vehicle. The, the reason that the check engine light came on here, I don't think that there's actually something wrong with it, so that's why this works. I'll throw up a picture right here of what that looks like on my dash, and basically all we're going to do is pull the cable on this battery, let it sit for about 30 seconds, hook it back up, and fingers crossed that this doesn't come back on. This check engine light came on on this 2016 GMC Sierra. When I pulled the oil dipstick to see how much oil was in it, I put it back in and I got in it and the check engine light was on. So it didn't like something. I've gotten an oil change since that happened. You know, maybe it was reading a little bit low after I cleared that dipstick off. I don't know. But uh, today we're going to pull the battery. It seems like on these GMs, you know, you touch it wrong and the check engine light comes on. And there's no reason to take it to the dealership, pay them, to plug it into the computer and clear it. So let's go ahead and do that. Most battery terminals are going to be a 10 millimeter socket. Uh, on this 16, it is a uh, 10 millimeter socket, so we're just going to go ahead and loosen this negative battery cable. Uh, you can do either the positive or negative, but the negative is already accessible. So we're just going to go ahead and loosen it off. You can go ahead and just take it off with your hand because it's easier than using the ratchet. Right. You're just going to go ahead and pull it up, and you're going to set it out of the way. You don't want to touch any metal because it'll be sparking because it is the negative battery cable. We're going to set that for about 30 seconds, let it clear. All right, we waited the 30 seconds now, so we're going to go ahead and hook this back up, tighten it back down. I'm going to tighten it with my fingers, makes it a little easier until we get to the point that we got to actually tighten it. This is a quick, easy job, uh, especially if there's not a problem with your truck like this 16. <clears throat> All right, now that uh, we got it tight here, we're going to go ahead and check that uh, check engine light's gone for us. All righty, fingers crossed here. Let's see what happens. Hood's open. Yep, we know. Just missed that. Nice possible. Yep, it's cold. There we have it, guys. No check engine light, so we're all good to go. And for some reason, it actually kept my radio presets, which I'm really surprised by, but. Um, yep, and it just connected to my phone as well. So, even better, a lot of times when you do this, it clears all your radio presets, your Bluetooth, all that. So you have to redo all that, but in my opinion, that's a small price to pay instead of going to the dealership and having that all redone. All right, guys, this was a successful project. Thanks for tuning in. It did save all my presets and everything. I've never had it do that. There must be a battery inside that entertainment system. I bet, you know, if you left your battery unhooked for several days, I bet that wouldn't be the case. But since we were just a minute or two here, it wasn't a big deal. Check engine light is off. Uh, we're ready to hit the highway. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.